Dive into today's latest headlines, the Golden State Warriors, a consistent powerhouse in the NBA, have etched their legacy though diverging from the iconic Michael Jordan-led Chicago Bulls dynasty. Unlike the Bulls' reign of consecutive championships, the Warriors have forged an enduring reputation as formidable contenders across the years. Yet, beneath their track record, the team grapples with nurturing budding talents, exemplified by the enigmatic Jonathan Kaminga. Whispers of trade propositions echo, entangling Kaminga and other players in their narrative. The proposition whispers of a tantalizing trade, Buddy Heald making a leap to the Warriors, accompanied by the 2025 first-round pick, a precious asset from the Indiana Pacers. A symbiotic exchange is envisioned the Pacers would welcome Gary Payton III, Jonathan Kaminga, and Moses Moody in return. This potential exchange spawns inquiries, casting a spotlight on the team's youth development strategy and the impending trade's long-term impact. No astonishment arises in the Warriors' struggles to carve playtime and growth opportunities for Kaminga, given their relentless pursuit of victory. The crux emerges, what nurtures an optimal breeding ground for the blossoming of young talent? While the allure of imbibing wisdom from a triumphant squad like the Warriors holds sway, Kaminga has candidly yearned for a substantial role, even contemplating a courtship with another team. Kaminga boasts an enticing dossier a lanky and versatile wing, wielding the potential to dominate both ends of the court. Yet, his confinement to the bench has stifled his ability to unveil his genuine prowess. The ultimate riddle lingers, is it time for the Warriors to part ways with the beacon of promise that is Kaminga, or should they orchestrate a harmonious integration, harnessing his potential more effectively within the collective? Fans, the jury is yours, what's your take on this trade proposal and the Warriors' conundrum? Should they chase a seasoned player like Buddy Heald, relinquishing the potential of Kaminga, Peyton III, and Moody? Or should they persist in Kaminga's development, nurturing his evolution into a dominant force in the league? Your thoughts eagerly await the spotlight.